on today is we're going to focus on creating angles. All right, so the way we're going to create an angle, hang on, real quick. The way we're going to create an angle is by gliding laterally. Okay, so if I get outside of Anthony's feet, so Anthony's guarding me, slide with me. If I get outside of his feet, I have my angle. So if my inside foot is lined up with his outside foot, this is my angle to go. Okay, all right, we'll also get into a couple more options. Like if he cuts me off, I'm just countering right. Okay, and then if he backs up out of it, I'm just stepping in the space and shooting. Okay, so that's what we're gonna cover. We're gonna go through a couple things quick, and then I just wanna go live out of it and play once. All right, you guys understand that? Okay, so all we're gonna do first is to get out of it. Okay, I don't care if you wanna start off a triple threat or if you wanna start off the dribble, it does not matter to me, okay? But there's four different ways we can glide. We can glide off of the in and out, we can glide off of the cross, glide off of between, you can glide off of behind. I don't care how you start, okay? But as soon as you guys go, I want your glide relaxed and paced, and then as soon as you decide to, to drop and go, I want you exploding out and changing speeds. Does that make sense? Okay, for us right now to hold ourselves accountable to getting low, I want you guys trying to touch your front leg right here. You're not gonna bend down and touch it all the way, but I just want you dropping your shoulder right here just to hold us accountable to getting low. Okay, with our finish right now. Anything you're guarding me against? Okay, if Anthony's on my hip, I want to use my off arm, okay, kind of as a shield. So when we finish right now, I want us to be finishing with the arm bar up, okay, we can finish like this with our hand up, so if he tries to go through my body, or if he's a little bit behind me, I can hold him off right here. But we're not going to touch the ball with this off hand. You guys understand that? Okay, so I'm right here, I'm gliding, whatever, I'm low, I attack, explode, and then I'm taking off right there and using this off arm. You all understand that? Now we're gonna glide, okay? Remember, when we glide, we wanna cover ground and get outside of his feet, okay? So right now, when I get outside of his feet, I'm right here, I attack. What is between us right now? What do I have between us? There's space, okay? I leave that space open for my finish, okay? He's most likely gonna recover, get back in front of me, it's gonna be a hard finish or he's gonna block my shot. So I wanna be able to close that space right now. So I glide, I get outside of his feet, we attack. He's on my hip, I wanna step into him, put him on my back or bump him off of me and get into my finish. So we're gonna get into that veer finish. So watch my feet. Okay, so he's on my hip. Yeah, he's on my hip. I'm gonna go forward, and then I'm gonna step into him. And then look at the ball. The ball is not swinging on my inside hip. If I swing it on my inside hip, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be exposed, okay? You can possibly strip it. So keep the ball out, or, and, or you can have your elbows up right here and the ball on the right side. Either one, okay? So it's one more time. The forward is one, two into him, and then I finish. All right, let's go. Still same goal, I'm getting outside of his feet. If my defender starts to run and beat me to my spot, I'm gonna stop in the diamond and rise up. So I glide, I go, he starts to run, I'm stopping in a down and I'm rising up. I don't care if you go one or two dribbles into your pull up, okay, just mix it up every time you guys go. All right, get your rebound and you get back to in the line. All right, let's go. Down there too. Okay, now when I glide, come guard me. When I glide, okay, if I already have space, there's no need for me to create space. Okay, so when I glide, if Eli's giving me space, I don't want to step into space because now I'm giving up my space. So what I want to do is I just want to replace my feet back into my hip quick and get into my shot. So I glide, I already have space, and I'm getting into my shot. Follow me. Okay, so I'm right here, I already have my space, planning on getting up. Okay, because if I step into it, then I'm gonna give up my space. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, okay, so now we're just gonna replace and then shoot. All right, that's what we're getting into. Let's go. Now, if, if Dop is playing me a little bit tighter, okay, now I need to create space. So the last one, he was already giving me space. 
This time he's pressuring me a little bit more and I have to create it. Okay, so now when I glide, I'm gonna step hard and try to get him to back up. Does that make sense? If he stays where he's at, okay, and I can get outside of his feet, then I'm just gone. It's a reaction, okay? But if I see him back up, then I'm gonna step into space and get into my shot. But I want you guys to focus on height change. So we're up, and then I drop down and dip my shoulder into my shot. You guys all see that? Okay, so it's uh, ball side foot uh, goes first, and then your inside foot, and then you're getting in your shot. All right, so make sure we're dropping and changing heights. All right, let's go. The last thing is to change the direction. So I get outside of his feet off of my glide. He cut, or excuse me. He cuts me off on my glide. Now I plant and change the direction off the cross. Okay, so again, I want you guys focusing on standing up on the, on the initial glide, and then once I'm getting into my change of direction, I drop and I get into my cross, okay? Out of our crosses, it's a freestyle into a finish, so I don't care what you do before you finish. You can spin, floater, attack, finish at the rim. I don't care what you do. All right, but as soon as you cross, give yourself like one to two seconds to get into your finish up, okay? So we can get the lines moving, all right? And then the next guy will go after the cross. All right, let's go. somebody uh, of your skill level, okay? All right, so matching with somebody of your skill level, that's gonna be your partner, we're gonna go once, okay? So Eli's my partner real quick right now. To start off, he's gonna be facing the bucket. So he's facing the bucket, we're back to back, his toes are gonna be on the three point line though. So toes on the three, we're back to back. If you're on the right wing, you're gonna go to the right. If you're on the left wing, you're gonna go to the left, okay? So I'm gonna open up, I'm going to the right, and I'm pivoting off of my left foot. Once I do that, I'm gliding, I'm gonna slide, I'm breathing in. We're just pretty much gonna uh, work on all the reads we just made right now. You guys all got that, but it's free, okay? So you're just playing and making the right reads out of it. If you score, you will stay on offense the next time you go, okay? And we're gonna go the first guy to get to four, four points. All right, you guys got it? Okay, let's go. Not glide more than four times. All right, let's go. 